What's up, YouTube? And what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to another new week of Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke, episode number 11. Last week we said like 17 or something. I was definitely thinking about my Digimon World series, which is on episode 17 as of today. So hey, make sure you've checked out that series. It's a pretty awesome game. One of my favorites along with Pokemon Crystal. Um, but yes, today is episode number 11. Now, in the last episode... Was last... I think last episode was... Oh, oh, oh. Last episode, we did the route just south of here, which is route... Which is route... We did route 34, and then we did everything that we could in Goldenrod City up until the gym. So... Uh, if you missed last week's episodes, there are five of them. This is a Monday through Friday series. Make sure you go check those out. Um, the, series, the series is getting pretty great, and there are some updates to be had before we walk into this gym. Um, so if you're excited for today's episode and another week of Pokemon Crystal, go ahead and hit that like button, and go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss all the episodes coming this week. Now, let's talk through our... Uh, let's do a, a, a team recap where a couple things changed, uh, but let's go over that now. So first up is Ashley, or is our leader, Ashley, the Dragon Electric type Eevee, still holding the Never Melt Ice to power up the Ice type Payday with also Super Fang, Ra Absorb, and Razor Wind. Still gotta find a couple moves to take over those, those spots. Um, still with great special defense and good defense, all that stuff. Next up is Remius, our Grass Dragon type Nidorino, who's like the most, is he the most reliable member of our team? I think he is. I think of Remius, we're going to call him the most the most reliable member of our team. Holding the King's Rock, because as you'll see in a second, he is our fastest mon. With Outrage, Sludge Bomb, Aurora Beam, and now Flamethrower. He learned Flamethrower over Mega Kick during the grinding montage. I decided that Flamethrower would be better because Mega Kick misses a lot. As you can see there, very fast and good defense, terrible attack, terrible special uh, special attack, but that's okay. Next up is the smallest member of our team, uh, the forgotten member of our team, Drago, the ground type Diglett, uh, who is also level 19, um, holding the amulet coin because we gotta get some money so we can catch these Pokemon and heal up our mons with Vice Grip, Ice Beam, Aurora Beam, and Flame Wheel. His stats are pretty good all around, minus his special attack and speed, I guess. So his attack and defense are pretty good. I'm okay with those. Next up is the red card of our team, our strongest member, Sarah, the grass poison type Dragonite. Uh, holding the amulet coin, because when we send her in, we got to make the money. And uh, we got to make the money to pay her, because she's really strong. And she takes a lot of money to, to, to fight for us. But she's still rocking scratch, uh, rolling kick, dizzy punch, and low kick with... Just great, great stats overall. I wish that speed was a little higher, but um, the defenses especially are good, and then the attacks are good. For level 20, we're okay with this. Next on our team is... Okay, next on our team is Clovis, the, weaker, the weakest member of our team, the most frail member of our team, Clovis, the flying-type Swinub, with Sludge, Cut, Boomerang, and Mud Slap. We found out in the last episode that Cut is actually very good. It's a psychic type move and it hits very hard. So that's good for him. He has good stats for what he is. Good special attack, which is probably why his Cut does so much because it is psychic type, as I said. Next, this is where all of the changes happen. It was right here, is Hall Varder. Hall Varder. Now, if you saw in the layout, you saw the little symbol that kind of looks like, well, it kind of looks like a D. So I went to research it, and I don't remember what I found, and it doesn't look like I have it open because I actually looked it up at the end of last week. Let me see if I have it on here, actually. I do not. Um, but it turned out that it's actually a D. It's a special character for a D, so Hall Varder. Now, this was a Marrow when we started. If you watched the grinding montage, Meryl evolved at level 18. That's when Meryl evolves. That Meryl evolved into a Chikorita, who at level 19 evolved into Sentret. So I think we evolved at the next level. Uh, but that's our team. Oh, wait. We're rocking Spark Bide, Razor Leaf, and Bide Slam. And we're, we're Grass-type now. So Meryl started off as Electric Steel, 
and then we went to just steel and now we're grass so we have another ice type weakness which going into this gym is kind of scary but let's look at Hall Larder's stats they're not bad they're not bad um, for what it is so uh, again I think that's gonna evolve soon so this is our squad I know we kind of I'm just now hitting my, my start timer because I always forget uh, but this is kind of what we're rocking with now. You can see we're at level 19s aside from Sarah who grew to level 20 a long time ago. Um, this is what I want to take the gym on with. So. Let's let Drago lead. I'm trying to decide what I wanted. So we're going to let Drago lead us into the gym. Ah. <sighs> try hard. Try hard mode. All right, let's go. Let's go. We're here to win. We're here to win today. Okay, um... So what was our question of the day last time? Our question of the day last time was who... Um... Who was your... Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. Who did you think the, the strongest gym leader in Johto was? Now, I didn't mean to do a Johto leader question yesterday or last time because I was thinking we were going to take on the gym, but we didn't. So we're going to go ahead and do another one. Um, and the question is, what is your favorite gym design of second generation? Ooh, should we do that? Of Johto. Let's do that, because we still have many more gyms to do on the other side of the world. But uh, let's see if I can wipe these guys out. Now, this is level 10. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. We look over-leveled. Don't be feel fooled. I looked it up beforehand. And if I was wrong... Well, then I'm never going to do grinding again. See, this thing is level 14. That kind of gives me hope. Um, so let's, let's see. Faulkner's gym. There's really no design to it. Okay, so let's say in gold, silver, crystal, which one's your favorite design? Because if you factor in hard gold and soul silver, then that's completely different. They're, all of the gems are completely different, I think. Or at least most of them are. Um... Oh, level 19. See, this okay. Good, 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 good. This is what I'm talking about. We're, we're right where we need to be. Um. Okay, Drago, you gotta calm down. You gotta calm down. Dra Dra okay. Alright, um, so let me, let's, let's take, take a look. So we know Rolling Kick is Psychic type. Uh, okay. Dragon Electric. Grass Poison. We're not switching in Sarah. Flying. Grass. Let's go into Aremius. <clears throat> Only because I, I'm pretty sure Rolling Kick won't kill. Except I... As I said that, the special stat popped in my head. Uh... Well, we should be able to kill this thing. Confusion, I don't think, is going to take me out. That's scary. That was a scary gym battle. Okay, let's go ahead and speed through the rest of this. Um, so Faulkner's gym. Don't you just, like, you just walk in and you can walk, you walk around, talk to one trainer, and then you walk in and fight him. There's really nothing there. Um, Bugsy's gym is, is pretty cool design, you know, you, you have to, um, what do you do in Bugsy's gym? Oh, you, you kind of walk around, you have to walk into where the tree is. Um, I think Whitney's gym is kind of broken. Uh, if you didn't know, I will tell you, um, Whitney's gym is actually a Clefairy if you look at it from the top. Uh, hopefully you knew that already. I know I say that to a lot of people and they're like, no, no way. Yeah, just look at it. Just look at it. There's a slow bro in front of us, and that's kind of scary. We're leading with Drago. I feel like I should go for Ice Beam. Okay. Okay. I don't know why. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. That should take him out. Good. Farfetched. Let me heal. I did not check my items before I walked in here. I only have 10 Super Potions. Really? Oh my gosh. Well, I accidentally bought a fresh water in the grinding montage. Let's go ahead and use that now. Well, that's a water type move. Mud slap is water type. Let's get out of here. Let's go into Havarar. 
or grass type. Woo! Eat it up. Razor Leaf. That did. That was a crit. Body slam. Okay, here's the thing. One, there's no way I could have known he was gonna have a super effective move. There's no way I could have known. What I knew was Mud Slap is super effective. I was hoping that by throwing him out there, I could get him some experience, and then we could evolve him. Cause I think he evolved at the next level. I'm gonna go ahead and look it up cause there's no point in looking it up ever again in my life. What's, what's our time today? Okay, we're fine on time today, excuse me. Nope, wrong link. Nope, wrong website actually. I'm actually starting to use Bulbapedia because I realized just how awesome Bulbapedia is. Let's just leave it at that. Um, okay, I'm back. Win level, so 15, yep. So the very next level we were gonna evolve. Now here's the thing. What I should have done when I saw the low stats is I should have just raised it another level in the grinding montage. I get it, okay? Forgive me. Alvarder, I'm sorry. Your name was difficult to pronounce. Uh, I... Wait, oh, okay, I was about to say, I was like, we don't have that many Pokemon. I think all we have in here is a Butterfree. Yeah, we're just gonna leave him in. There was no way I could have known that was gonna happen, but now we won't get to evolve him. Now, what we are gonna do is, after we're done with this series, we're gonna go and take everything that we evolved, uh, or everything that we caught that we didn't get to evolve, and we're gonna evolve it, just to see what the randomizer was gonna do. Um, so I think that'll be pretty cool. I think we'll do that in a, in a massive episode at the end of the series. Um, all right, okay, this thing is a level 20. I, sh I imagine I'm gonna be okay. I am a Remius. Remius is Grass Dragon, right? Am I thinking of the right person? Remius is Grass Dragon. I have to look this up. I have to look this up. If I don't look this up, we're going to lose everything right now. Remius is Grass Dragon, so that had to be an Ice type move. We might lose the lock right now. Did it say Aurora Beam wasn't very effective? Aurora Beam is Steel type. What is Psychic not very effective against?
I am I'm terrified. I am absolutely terrified right now. What is psychic not very effective against? Steel and psychic. Okay, hold on. So rock is also, so it is a steel type. That's confirmed. So uh, it's a steel type, which means I need to use, wait. Okay, I need to use a fighting move or a ground type move or a fire move. I don't have any of that. I could also use dark type or electric type or water type or ghost type. What? Ghost isn't very effective. What? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, no, 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 no. He might have two types. Duh. Okay, well, this is fine. And when I say this is fine, I don't mean this was fine. This is bad. But we're going to keep going. Because after this, after this gym, it's, it's encounters galore. It's encounters galore. So, man, that sucks. I can't believe I lost another Pokemon. And it, we're not even done. Like, we're not even done. All right, so I'm going to deposit. Look, Aremius, I really liked you. Look, your name was difficult to pronounce, okay? So people with difficult names to pronounce, they're not living. Halvarder died today. Aremius is dying today. Uh, and he was kind of weak, so that's why I'm not too upset. And also, he only evolves by a stone, obviously. Uh, that, so we have to try and find that. So, we're left... Uh, this is scary. This, uh, th that's the only way to say it. This is scary. This is scary. But, let's get it on, because our, our time... We're, we're going to start running low on time here soon. I don't want these episodes to go too long. Alright. Who are we leading with? We got it to- alright, let's lead with Ashley. And, uh, that, that'll be good. <sighs> Tangela. Okay, we can handle Tangela. Got super fan. Absorb. Okay, it hit itself in confusion. I missed. This is bad. It's just hitting me with super effective move after super effective move after super effective move. Go ahead and use the Super Potion. Giga Drain. Let's go with our Absorb. Oh my gosh. God, this is so scary. Smooch him. Is there anything I'm four times effective to? Or four times weak to? Uh, no. Right, because dragon is only weak to like, uh, where's dragon? Dragon's only weak to dragon. Oh, ice, duh. Dragon and ice. So, yeah, so I, I should be okay. I'm gonna stay in and I'm gonna go for our payday. Um, so that was super effective, which scares the heck out of me. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh my god, you have Thunderbolt. Yeah, go ahead and get out of here. Go ahead and go ahead go ahead and just get out of here. Woo! Yay! We killed somebody without losing anybody. Yay! Woohoo! Celebrate good times. Come on. Ah, this is not going so great. But uh, let's run up here real quick. As I said, we are sort of starting to run out of time. Uh, I'm going to buy about five more of these. I am, I do have money, uh, which is good. All right, next up. 
Now, for the people that I talked to about the most difficult uh, gym leaders, uh, oh, you know what? That just reminded me, we completely got off with our, uh, our gym leader talk. Um, but for the people that I talked to about who the most difficult gym leader was, uh, people seem to agree that it was definitely Whitney. Whitney and her freaking mill tank. Um, so real quick, let's run through it. Um, Faulkner's gym sucks. Bugsy's gym was okay. Whitney's gym is broken because it's a Clefairy. Uh, Morty's, gy Morty's gym was pretty cool. It was kind of annoying because you couldn't see where to go, but it was pretty cool. Um, Jasmine's gym is super lame. Um, Chuck's gym. Don't, do you have to have strength in Chuck's gym? I think you do. Price's gym is pretty cool. Claire's gym is pretty cool. The gyms in and Jodo are kind of broken, but let's go ahead and get the, get this on. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, I gotta remember for the kids, for the kids, don't say something stupid. Don't say something stupid. Like, hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone, I, everyone was into Pokemon, so like I got into it too. Like, Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you. <laughs> I'm good. Like, I'm not gonna lose to you. Like, like. I'm not gonna lose to you. Like, I'm gonna destroy you just like I destroy everybody. Apom. Level 20 Apom to start us off. Okay. So let's start off with a good old Super Fang. Fury Attack. Is that super effective? Am I dead? That's a lot of damage. Okay. You're not gonna hit five times, and even if you do, I'll live. Okay. That's not very effective. I'm really tired of that not being very effective. How come when people use ice moves against me, it's always super effective? But I can't do that today. Oh, yeah, good job, Ashley. That's my Ashley, that's my Ashley right there. You have a level 22 primate. All right, here's the smart thing to do. The smart thing is to heal. You're gonna use Pursuit. Oh no. I can't do anything. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do to save this. Why do you only have pursuit? Ashley, no! And I have to hope that that's a ground type move, because if it's ice, we lose. I have to try to switch out and hope that he's gonna do something different. Or do I just sacrifice Ashley and get off a uh, a Super Fang? How fast am I again? I'm pretty slow, aren't I? Yeah, I'm not doing that, Never mind that. I have to try this. I have to. If that's a ground type move, we lose. <sighs> Apparently she saw me. <laughs> You 
<laughs> you beat me! Oh, you're mean! Like, you shouldn't be so serious! You, you child! You, but I killed your, I killed your starter! But I killed your starter, though! You suck! You let me kill your starter! I killed one of your Pokemon! Like, <laughs> you're so- I can't even talk to- ignore what the screen says! Ignore what the screen says! This is what she's actually saying! I can't even talk to you right now! You're so easy! I killed your starter! Just get away from me! Like, I'm sorry for being so pretentious. Like, oh, you want a badge? Okay. Like, here, you can have the plane badge. Like, whatever. I don't need it. I killed your starter. Like, like, okay. You can do whatever you want. That's fine. Damn. And then she gives us rain dance. And then she gave us rain dance. Ashley, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There was nothing I could do. How could I know that she was gonna send in a freaking pursuiting prime ape? Why couldn't it have been a metapod? Or something weaker than a prime? Actually, the stats are randomized, so I guess I don't really know anything, but. Wow. Wow. Unreal. Unreal. Mine box 14. You're extremely reliable. You were the leader of our team. And now you're gone. I'm sorry. We didn't even get to evolve it. I don't know when it was gonna evolve. I imagine it was gonna be relatively soon. We didn't even get a stone, so we couldn't have even evolved it. The positive side of this is that we didn't randomize that name. It was a name that I gave uh, to some to this Pokemon, so it's just kind of karma playing out again. But goodbye, Ashley. So that is going to do it for today's episode. If you feel bad for us losing half of our team, Winnie did her thing. We said that she was the strongest gym leader uh, and she definitely went and proved it. So uh, if you feel bad for us, go ahead and show your love, uh, hit that like button. In the next episode, uh, which will be tomorrow, uh, we will head north of Goldenrod City and see where we can make it. I don't know where we'll make it to. Tomorrow is Tuesday, so there's like a bug catching contest, but we can't do that in a randomizer. Otherwise, it will crash the game. Um, so we'll just go through normally, see how far we can make it in the next episode, getting to Equitique City. So make sure you subscribe so you can see when that comes out. <sighs> In the comments below, let me know who you who your favorite or what your favorite design gym in Johto is. And we will see you tomorrow for more Pokemon Crystal, the completely stupid and randomized Nuzlocke. Have a blessed day.